Hello and welcome to episode 10 of Let's Play House of Fine as Italy. We are at war with the Soviet Empire and just about to conquer Australia, hopefully. Actually, we have just conquered Australia, I believe, even though they got some, like, uh, divisions still hanging, or some land hanging around. It's just because that's what it does when the Allies are still around. So, uh, let's enjoy. Setting up an Australian headquarter theatre to hold Australia. Australia again, like New Zealand, but even bigger, twice as big at least. Um, too big to let go to uh, the militants. The militants will not take our land. Got a bit of mixture coming through, some CAGs as well. Um, I want to put the CAGs in force against the Soviet Empire, just give them straight to the headquarter. The head Uh, setting up a um, like an eastern secure and an eastern attack front because I don't like how so many divisions aren't arming on the border. Um, so yes, don't know why you've seen me um, but we will keep pushing through the Soviet Empire. We're making all right advances for January. And yes, also welcome to 1944. Still got the energy shortage, who knew? Uh, didn't realise it at this time, did not realise there was even an energy shortage. Usually uh, everyone keeps a close eye on their fuel and supplies. Um, and our oil is doing good too, surprisingly. Mostly because we um, got the Middle East. Spain finally being taken care of. German uprising. So um, I had taken a break here. And uh, I realised that uh, the second I got off, I realised resource convoys, like, I got off my chair and I'm like, oh, I should have turned resource convoys back on. And I'm like, I'll do it next time, I'll do it next time. And, uh, yeah, so look at that, energy back to 99,000, IC back over 1,000. What more could you want? We had a lot of things queued, though, Con we got a lot of convoys, um, 1,000 plus, but, you know, with convoys going everywhere it's easy for minor countries to strike them and hard for us to patrol everywhere so now at war with everyone in South America Yes, so at war with everyone but Brazil and South America. 
Uh, good that we've got our raider pretty much up and going. We can see that there's not too much the Soviet Empire has. But also forcing the Soviet Empire to fight a battle in India with our Indian theatre, so that is definitely helping the uh, Eastern Front for us. Uh, so the Soviet Empire has broken through our India front, Middle East still holding up well, but um, the India theatre has sort of been letting us down all game, it's been having plenty of resources committed to it, but it's not doing that well, just about to encircle Leningrad, um, the AI doing it all itself, uh, hoping on, yes we're into the green and getting some some division kills there too. Winning grand worth 20 VP, so very handy, I believe. Got a division encircled um, in the Soviet Empire, but probably not worth all the manual effort. Um, dividing the Soviet, the Allies, the um, headquarters isn't automatically dividing up the air forces. Sometimes they use, or about half the time they do it. So I'm um, making up for that half the time they glitch and don't do it manually. The uh, snow bunnies are a little bit encircled, but there's encirclements everywhere on both sides. The war is quite sloppy, there's just not enough divisions, and if we had supplies, that'd make it a lot easier for us too. While we're busy with the Soviet Empire, we are sort of coming towards the end of the game. 1944. Um, so I'm going to manually take out the Netherlands, um, there's a lot of rares and things, we don't really need them but there is so much in the Netherlands so let's grab all of that.
And this should be enough to do the... Yep, enough to do the Netherlands they are now ours. And uh, that is great. Also setting up a uh, theater here. Um, very frustrating to hold this area from rebels as most of it's not connected by land. So um, Indonesia probably being misspelt there. Um, force. So uh, let's enjoy. Well, not enjoy. Let's win. Uh, the Soviet force really committing a lot of troops um, into Finland uh, and the battle for Moscow is underway hopefully we can capture Moscow let's see how we go I'm getting a complete encirclement in there and I think Moscow is ours Woo. Oh, and that bringing the uh, Soviet Union to surrender. Um, always great when now we've got a bit of uh, reworking theatre. So, um, yes, we'll go from there. Sorry, I'm back. Just a bit of a fan call there. Anyway, we're still moving on through with the campaign. Uh, just setting up the new theatres after the Soviet Union surrender. I'm going to make a northern... I'm going to just do some things. Yeah, this is never fun. We've got a, lots of units. Do not want them too big or they will totally collapse. So yes, a lot of feudal work coming through here, um, and it's hard to set them precisely so I don't ruin the Navy Command too. Uh, probably could have added in a few more Navy Commands, but what can you do now? Also setting up a Navy attack fleet from some of the spare Soviet Union. Gonna move them to Lisbon and also uh, gonna manually attack Peru as we are getting stuck on Peru. Peru is one of the hardest countries to conquer, I reckon, in the game. If, even if you got a uh, massive overwhelming force on them, it's hard to work with their terrain and they, especially if their allies come and help them. Look, see, I'm surrounded by Peru units. So, uh, let's hope for the best. So, 
So uh, setting these to the South American um, control for the ally and get a go and pick up the uh, get a go and pick up the Wisborne units once they get there. Transport planes can't seem to reach the uh, southern Peru army and we've only got that little port to hold on to. Bit of a Japanese um, problems on the attacking the snow bunnies. Um, not really enough troops in the snow bunny force. Could do more, uh, deal with more snow bunnies. Playing some catch me if you can with the um, German Germany here. Uh, lucky one of the auto divisions is coming to back me up. Thank goodness. Uh, yes. Definitely too many men. Um, in Eastern Soviet Union, it's very, very hard to supply there. We've only got that um, train line which runs through the Soviet Union. Don't recall what it's called, and it's not doing the job enough. That's it, Trans Siberian Railway. Took me a little bit of picky time, but I got there. Uh, yeah, so I really should have slowed down and taken a bit more time with the snow bunnies and etc. Uh, fixing up the uh, theatre here, and while well, here I'm giving divisions a little bit to all the secures, um, so that will help them out a bit. Now I've just got too much IC, no need for it. I probably don't need more resources um, to conquer the rest of the world. And now just moving units to uh, Japan, they're still filled and supplied and uh, we hope to do a much better landing than the landing we done in America because that was poor and really did make the campaign go for a lot longer. So deploying the divisions in Japan, um, this is a great area we're holding right now. I'm a bit worried about the Japanese Navy, it is quite strong. Definitely want to cop, um, capture two or three ports um, at the start. Um, just 
dropping even more of the Japanese fleet. So uh, deploying more transport planes in the Japanese invasion going good, uh, setting the feeder to automatic. So still having issues with Peru, Japan is coming along great. <laughs> The problem with the transport planes is they do require a lot of manual work, but getting the second transport, 20 transport planes in there, gonna chuck them in Japan, even though Japan's got um, great, great uh, infrastructure, but it'll be good just to have them so the moment we run short on supplies, we're refilling. Really, the Far East are uh, losing a lot of ground here, uh, which is not great. The African feeder conquering South Africa on its own. All it's got to do is um, finish off Ethiopia. And thank you for watching episode 10. Uh, I'll see you at episode 11.